Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Hall. Um, I've been having some technical difficulties with uploading this video, so this is probably my tenth time trying. Um, so bear with me if something goes wrong. Um, but I'm here to discuss assignment number four, um, and I chose disability as media construction. Uh, so number one, provide a brief summary of the perspective or part of the perspective that you will use for your analysis. So um, I provided a link for you all, it's a YouTube link, um, to um, Murder Ball. It's a very neat film, it came out in 2005, um, and yeah, so get a chance to check that out um, and see what it's all about, and I'll discuss it as we go on further. Uh, so media is a very effective way to reach a large population. Media has to be very careful in the way disability is portrayed in film. In most cases, film portrays disability as hindering an individual. In conclusion of most films featuring disability, the individual with disability overcomes the disability. Um, this is seen in Murder Ball um, greatly. Uh, the creator of this of these films tug on the viewer's hearts and do a tremendous job of forcing the viewer to become sympathetic for the individual with disability. In most real-life disability cases, people with disabilities learn to accept their disability and not want others to feel sympathetic toward them. In fact, most want to become influential and want to use their disability to show individuals they are capable of doing what a quote-unquote normal person can do. Again, vastly shown in the um, film Murder Ball. Sometimes adaptations need to be made. This is most commonly shown in sport. Um, every individual has a desire to compete and be physically active. So why can't individuals with disabilities be hindered with this ability? Um, I'm a huge advocate for adapted PE uh, and you have to be very creative in the way you approach things. Um, maximal uh, inclusion sorry, is very important in adapted PE. Um, but everybody participating, um, no matter what their disability is. Uh, and Murder Ball, a great, great uh, example of this. Um, most of these cases are paraplegic. Uh, they have very limited mobility in their lower extremities. Uh, and um, it's really neat to watch them compete uh, in their wheelchairs and really uh, be physically active in that way. Uh, they get very into it, and it's very cool. Uh, murder ball is a game much like rugby, except for individuals who become paraplegic. The sport is featured in Paralympics, and the game is played in a wheelchair. Murder ball is an inspirational film and gives viewers a broader perspective on how life is lived in a wheelchair. Um, countless cap capabilities. Uh, viewers learn not to put limitations on those who do not have mo mobility capabilities. Uh, Number two, how is desirable humanness described through this lens? Undesirable elements of humanness. Uh, the media seeks to either limit the humanness of those disabled or seeks to greater the humanness of those disabled. Um, the latter is, is what Murder Ball really, really keys on and, and hits home with. Uh, it is all based on how the disability is portrayed. There's a fine line between both concepts. Viewers are sensitive to those who are disabled and are reluctant to pick a side. Um, the characters in Murder Ball are, are very uh, unique. And um, on to number three here. How is disability described and explained through this lens? Where does disability fit on the continuum of the desirable to undesirable humanness? So I was getting to is in Murder Ball, viewers hardly notice the characters are disabled. Um, and when I was first watching, I was kind of in awe at the beginning, and it was really neat to me and cool. Um, and initially, I saw that they were, uh, when they were introducing the game, that they were in a wheelchair, but as it went on, uh, you hardly even noticed, and you hardly even noticed that they were disabled. Uh, the film seeks to find a common ground between those disabled and those who are not. The film does an excellent job portraying disability, not as a limiting factor, but as a normal way of life. This is how they go about their daily, um, their daily things, and uh, sport is is one of their 
prime recreational activities, and they love doing it. Uh, as you'll see, murder ball is a very rough, rough sport. Uh, again, much like rugby, if you know, if you know anything about rugby, very uh, competitive, very rough on your body. Uh, these these players lay it all out on the line um, and do whatever it takes to win. So number four, through this lens, what are the limits of humanness beyond which an individual is no longer viable? And then what is the proposed response? Simply put, there are no limits to those with disabilities. And again, Murder Ball does a great job portraying that. Um, so that's it for assignment number four. Um, thanks for viewing. And if you get a chance, I strongly recommend checking out the entire film. Um, again, thank you. And have a good night, everyone.